Welcome to this introductory video on Python and I've had numerous requests to create videos for this topic and so I've decided to go ahead and create some videos and the good news is it's one of the easiest languages to learn for both programmers and non-programmers you can get going in this very very quickly and that's one of the reasons it's so popular it's also popular because there's a very large and active community that supports it Python is considered a cross platform language. And so in other words, it will run on several different operating systems. It'll run on Linux, Windows, Mac. It supports several different types of platforms. So that's good. It's a lot like Java in that respect. Now, one of the reasons Python is so popular is because of its standard library. And this is the crown jewel of Python. And basically this allows you to do pretty much anything that you would want to accomplish in programming. You can send out emails, you can manipulate audio and video files. There's all sorts of things that you can do with the standard library. So that is one thing that we're going to be looking at quite a bit throughout this series. The editor that we're going to be using, and we're gonna talk about setting this up in the next video, is called PyCharm. And this is really the most popular editor that Python developers use. So that's what we're going to go ahead and download and install in the next video. Now you can also use the IDE that Python supplies, and that's called Idle. We'll also talk about that as well. And you may just go ahead and decide to use that. But again, we'll talk about those topics in the next video. Now I want to point out we're not going to start from scratch in this series. So it's helpful if you have a basic understanding of programming concepts, such as what is a variable or what are loops or what are operators. It's not a prerequisite though. So you could still follow this series with absolutely no programming experience, but it would help. And again, I don't wanna go through what operators are and some of the basics. Now, if you feel that you need those concepts before you take this series, by all means, go ahead. There are several series out there that will talk about some of the basic programming concepts. If you can't find a series, you can go ahead and take my Java tutorial series and take, I would say the first 20 videos will cover some of these core concepts concepts like loops, variables, subjects like that. Okay, so I will see you in the next video where we will install Python and also set up the IDE.